Hello friends! Now, as most of you will know, I recently made a video about a DIY video projector which I built based on an old overhead projector. And in that initial video, which I recommend you to watch before this one, which you can find in the video description, I built that video projector based on this old machine here from, I guess, the 1960s or 70s. And I also needed an LCD panel from a 15-inch PC monitor that I took apart in that last video. And at the end of the day, I presented the results and it worked quite well. But I also talked about some possible upgrades in that last video. And guess what? I just implemented some of those upgrades over the course of this week. And that is what I'm going to show you in this video. Okay, so the first upgrade is about the LC panel itself. In the initial design, I used an LCD from an old PC monitor with a resolution of 1024 times 768 pixels, and that would have been standard at that time. Now, that isn't even enough for a 720p video. 480p video is really the best you can get out of that. And not only that, the 15 inch display is actually a little bit too large for the actual surface area of the projector. And that means that only 85 to about 90% of the pixels on that screen are actually to be seen on the actual projection screen itself. So what I did was to look for a smaller display that would fit on the surface and also had a better resolution. And this is the best that I could find on short notice. It's a 10.1 inch widescreen display with a resolution of 1280 times 800 pixels. And that just happens to be a little more than what you need for 720p video. So what I'm doing here is to take the display apart because I have to remove the backlighting again. And yeah, it's not a perfect solution. It would have been better to find something that would enable me to use it for 1080p videos. But, well, it's already a major improvement that this panel actually fits the surface area of the projector so that actually the entire content of the screen will also be visible. And this screen, as you can see, already uses LED backlights as it's normal now, so no need for high voltage inverters anymore. And the power supply only delivers 5 volts for the board, so that is really easy. But it still was a very tedious and cumbersome process to take this display unit apart. But at least the LC panel itself is not glued to any of the other layers inside the unit. And again the next step was to craft another mask from aluminium sheets just as I did it in the first video about this project. And well again another very tedious process. Cutting out a part like this with some precision with an angle grinder. But I've been doing it like that for years and who knows, maybe one day I might be able to afford something better. But this has to be good enough for now. And next I install some aluminium angle plates onto the mask, one of them so that the mask will not slide off the surface of the projector, the other one in order to hold the LC panel in the right position. And I'm using some modified selenium adhesive here again, just a little bit of it, in order to hold the panel in place. And, and next I reuse this black plastic enclosure here, which I cut a hole in with this Dremel knockoff that I recently bought. And I install the PCB inside the enclosure and the buttons here on top, and as you see it's all still held together by tape. It's kind of improvised and I will have to find a better enclosure at some point in the future. And the next upgrade is that this time I'm really going to use fans in order to cool down the LC panel during operation. And what I do is to cut out another piece of aluminium angle plate, drill a couple of holes into it, then cut it into shape with the Dremel knockoff again. I then bolt the fans onto the plate and eventually the plate onto the mask. Then I cut off a part of the leads, solder them together and attach this 12 volt switch mode power supply to the fans. And to the next upgrade. This material is intended to be used in range hoods, extractor hoods, kitchen hoods, however you call them. In German they're called Dunstabzugshauben. And yes, that's the thing that is installed above your cooker. And I'm cutting out a piece and insert that inside into the air intake here so that it can block some of the light. 
And on the opposite side of the projector, I also temporarily glue some of it onto the surface. Now you could make a nice frame with some aluminum angle plates and attach it permanently onto the projector, but I first want to see how it even works. It could be that the projector gets too warm when this is installed in front of the exhaust port. And the next upgrade is to put the projector on top of a dolly instead of on top of a table. And that has two advantages. One, the distance between the screen and the projector can easily be varied. And B, the projector will be out of your field of vision because it is much more low profile. But if it sits so low on the ground, you have to angle the mirror in order to cast the projection onto the screen. And that has a disadvantage that the form of the projection will look like an upside down trapezoid. But in order to cancel that out, you can also angle the screen itself. And you can see here that I simply attached a piece of wire onto a screw that you can find here down on this tube. And I simply hold that down with an old barbell weight plate. So let's take a look at it then and see if all of this is any good. <laughs> 